Ah, uh, Sim City. The only video game in the world where saying what you do in the game sounds more boring than anything you would do in real life. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I, I, that is the best way to put it. It's like, hey, let's put a bunch of boring stuff together and make it a game. <laughs> Like, it's funny, because I talk with my sister all the time about video games, and I'll explain the plots of games, and be like, oh, man, you gotta, you gotta, you grow up in space, you get these aliens, and you, there's this looming threat, and these guys are coming from whatever. I was talking with Your her about sister. this. poor sister. What's that? Your poor sister. <laughs> yeah, well, she's, it's been enough years, she's probably pretty much inured to it at this point, but, um, with this game, I was talking with her, and I could literally see her face turning into that, oh, God, I'm trapped in this conversation. This guy won't shut up about this. Because you're like, yeah, and then like a year later, I had to pass some bond measures, and I tried raising taxes to even out the economy, but then the export economy got too high, and people started moving away, and then the sewage was piling up. And I was like, oh, shit, I have to sell my sewage to a different zone. But this bond measure is still hanging over my head, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's uh, it's not quite uh, raiding of tombs or uh, fighting off the uh, a lambent. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Well, welcome everybody to the loading bar. We're talking about SimCity. Oh God, this is a hard game to review. Um, I've never really played a SimCity game, um, which I don't really know if anybody here. Uh, well, I was the only one who could play this this week, but I don't know if anybody here has really had a lot of experience in SimCity games because it's a hard proposition. You say to somebody, how would you like to be a municipal planner? And they're like, uh, no. <laughs> I yeah. think I'd rather Parks and a- Rec makes it look so funny. <laughs> I think I would rather shoot a shark in the face with an RPG than zone more commercial districts downtown and put down a new park. Like, uh, mm, maybe. But, um, you know, this game... It pulled a Minecraft on me, Jason. It oh, no. Totally pulled a Minecraft. Like, one day I started up, I start playing the game, and, like, it, it keeps up the pace in a way where, you know, once you've got everything working and everything is going fine, then suddenly some bullshit happens where there aren't enough cops, there aren't enough hospitals, there aren't, you know, they the stupid people, your sewage is overflowing or the water is gone or whatever. And it becomes that that drive to, like, Keep pushing forward to see what the next thing that you can build is. Kind of like Minecraft, but less fun. (laughs) But still, like, I turned around and it had been eight hours since I sat down in my chair. And I was just like, what? Where did it go? (laughs) And you're not even talking about mayhem or the destruction. No. It's just straight up building a city. Um, So I'm going to talk for a little while about what I like about this game. Because this game is seriously flawed. Um, Now, you're not even talking about the huge controversy, right? No. Well, I'm going to get into that because the thing... Okay, here's the thing. This is worth mentioning before we get started here. This game has always... Requires an always-on connection, and right now, they're having server problems. Um, Not so much that I couldn't play the game. By the time I got the game and I started playing it, most of the first-day crunch had been taken care of, so I was able to get online. I was able to play. I only, in the course of playing, got kicked out, and the servers went down once. Uh, For the most part, right now, if you're playing the game and you have a server hiccup, because the multiplayer is asynchronous, it'll just drop, and then it'll reconnect when it's able to. It's not a huge deal at the moment. I don't want to negatively judge this game based on the server load problems of the first week that it's been out. Okay. I'm going to ba- I'm going to I'm going to say some negative stuff based on some of the other online <laughs> aspects of it. But that particular thing it's like within a month this should all be figured out. And if it's not, well then just take whatever rating I give at the end and take w- one reduce it by one because if they haven't gotten this shit figured out in a month then they deserve one less than they had before. Um but first the good stuff. This game is Really, really, really simple and easy to get into, and I love it. Like, you have, uh, what's like 12 different areas that you can pick when you first start up the game, and you have each area is like a, or it's a, it's a region, is what it's called. And they have a bunch of little places where you can put down a city, a bunch of little squares where you could chunk down a city, and they usually have one slot where you could put a, um, a great work which I'll get back to later. So you start with your city. Boom, you got your city. And the city has a big highway hanging off of it. So you just grab a road, draw it off the highway, and you start zoning in either commercial, residential, or um, industrial. And unlike previous SimCity games, uh, you don't have to pay for zoning, which is cool. It means you can just randomly change zones or whatever. Uh, You don't have to worry about laying pipes or um, 
or uh, building electric lines or everything because all of the, your utilities are based on the roads. So if your road connects to the water, then water gets to wherever that road goes. Real easy. Real easy to do. Um, so as you build that stuff, like things start building, you got to build some, you know, police department and a fire department, blah, 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 blah. And it's, it just becomes this idea of, of moving forward and trying to keep your, your income level to a point where everything is cool and all your people are happy. I'm Listen. sorry. Are you still talking? Yeah, I know. You could, you could feel <sighs> free. Like just put grab a pillow, man. Cause <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I'm sorry. No, I'm good. No, I'm it, good. It's it's. I mean, you know like, what? It it honestly and seriously sounds like the most boring thing in the world. And when I got started to play this, it was one of those things where I was like, oh god, why did I why did I start being a video game reviewer? Now I've got to fucking play Sim City. <laughs> but within a couple of hours, it, it causes you to question your life choices. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe yeah, a little bit, a little bit, just. You know, I had slept very much, so just a little bit. Um, but the thing is that it's it's got a very nice, like I love the soundtrack for this game. It's real mellow. Like the graphics are really nice. And you know, my I've got a moderate to high moderate PC. I was able to jack everything all the way up. It runs real smooth. They've got that um, that crazy vision mode that makes everything look like little toys down on the street running around. You know, it's pretty it's pretty mellow. You zoom in and watch things happen and things build. And yeah, and as time goes on, you can specialize your city. You can make a tourism city or a gambling city or a trade city um you can make a high tech you know you can specialize in one thing or another which gives you access to new buildings and as you rank up and you get more density things get better and more awesome and you get giant size skyscrapers blah 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 blah. awesome really cool um very fun to play for a while uh it's just the the game keeps ratcheting up the problems that you have to the point where, like, you start off the game and it's like, hey, I'm getting, like, a thousand simoleons every hour that I can use to build new stuff. Hooray! By the time I ended my biggest city, I was losing 30,000 simoleons every hour, but I was making, like, a million a day, or, or the, more than that, way more than that, actually. So the, the whole thing was working out. Anyway, that's the boring part. Suffice to say, if you're curious about if this game is fun or not, and you've never played a SimCity game, it's pretty fun. Boom. That's it. Uh, every Each one of the things on the map, and just fill out the rest of this real fast, each one of the little places on the map has a different set of resources on it. So some will be high in oil, and you could put down an oil well. Some will have more water, and you could put down more water, blah, 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 blah. Also, in each area, there's a little place where you can build a great work, which usually requires the resources of several different cities to build. And that's stuff like an arcology or an international airport or solar thing that benefits essentially everybody in the Oh, I was hoping it was like a gun range (laughs) or, you know, like a Dairy Queen maybe. I wish you could build specific things. I would have built Cracker Barrel after Cracker Barrel after Cracker Barrel. and then You would have had the... All of the old people living in Professor Town. Sure, man. They've got a fixed income. They, I'll know exactly how much money I can get from them every month. And I won't have to build any police. <laughs> I can just build a lot of hospitals. Like, I don't even have to deal with that part of it. Um, so <clears throat> that's all cool. There's some other new stuff in here. Um, there's actually a couple of really cool little things you could make. Um, uh, 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 like, from time to time, the little sims will come up and they'll ask if they can do something and they'll be like a cash bonus. Like, I don't know. This is never seems right to me, Jason, but when you build a fire department, every so often the fire department's like, hey, we want to put on a big fireworks show for the city. And then below that it says, like, this will cause lots of fires. That really just sounds like either the worst or possibly the best idea ever. <laughs> Which I was like, no, that's not <laughs> enough money for me to burn down the entire city. <laughs> uh, yeah, see, I I could never, I could never do sim games because I immediately just start screwing with everybody. I'm like, let's okay, this was interesting. Let's bring the end of the world now <laughs> it, within like five minutes of starting the game. Yeah, well, see, the, the the problem with that is that you have to give the game time to get your like population density to go up, so you can get skyscrapers to knock down instead of just like a bunch of trailers. Like the end of the world isn't really all that interesting, but it's just like you know block after block of tractor trailer homes of you know you know double wides like who cares if godzilla kills the double wides i want to see some <laughs> skyscrapers fucking fall down um 
But there's cool little... there there are a lot of people in double wides that deserve to be eaten by giant radioactive lizards as well. <laughs> uh, I actually unlocked the giant radioactive lizards. Finally, you have to build a nuclear power plant. Um, but all they do is when you you pop them up, like there's a whole series of disasters that you could trigger. I'm not exactly sure why. I mean, maybe just just the just the Jason Murphy idea of. Uh, let's watch it all. Bur- Some men just want to watch the world burn. God damn it! Um, that that is me. The it's like is- it, it's like Alfred was speaking directly to me. <laughs> well, the the problem in this game is that, and this maybe make a nice segue is that there is no like you can't save your game and then reload it. So you spend seven hours like building your perfect city. Um, there is no way that you can be like, oh, I'm going to save this. And I'm going to just trigger all the natural disasters, and it's going to be awesome. Like, here's an earthquake. Here's Godzilla. Here's a zombie attack. The problem is that when you do that, all you've done is just jerk up your game to the point where you're going to have to put it all back together again. I don't know. Um, maybe it'd be fine if you could like put yourself online, and and then people could randomly trigger that stuff on you, but. I, I never saw, found a really good reason. I was never at a point in my game where I was like, you know what? Things are going really well here. You know what I need to do? I need to destroy all my infrastructure and start losing even more money than I'm losing right now because I need to see Godzilla once. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, do you want to take care of all these people running around like mindless little ants? Or do you want to see a giant lizard? <laughs> it's The problem is that even the giant lizard is not as – it's it's a very short event. He knocks down a few things, boom, you're done. Um, there's some little things in here, like there's the Maxis Man and Dr. Vu that they're these super hero and super villain that you can build up and you can build different parts of them, you know, um, and uh, they give your, your city both bonuses and negatives at the same time. I don't know. Seems all right. Interesting stuff to do. But the main meat here is just going to be in building the city that you want to build. So all that's good. And that's fine. And yay. Now, <laughs> let's talk about why this game may be incredibly shitty, depending on your point of view. Um, <sighs> this game... Okay, first of all, there's, I've seen a lot of people already who say, this game has to be online all the time. It's got always on DRM. You have to be online all the time to play it. There is no single player if you are offline. That's kind of bullshit. Um especially for a game like this. This is a simulation game. You know, there's not really any good reason not to be able to have just an offline mode, just to be able to play by yourself. You know, probably load faster. You would have to connect to a server. Um, It does take a little bit of time to load into each city, which becomes a problem a little bit later. Uh, But one of the main reasons that the game is online is because I don't, I'm not entirely sure why, but the designers of this SimCity have decided that one city is not enough for you. Uh, you will discover pretty early on that you need to have, you need to either be playing with other people or you need to be running like multiple cities at the same time, which is a drag because you have to unload every city and then load new cities. Um, you can see this because the maps are too small, uh, to really like, you will run out of space on a, any given chunk of the map like that, just, um, within a, a six hours, you'll be to the point where you just there's no more water or there's no more space to put down anything you're just you're fucked it's people 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 and there's nowhere else to put anything so what do you do you basically go to another place and you start up a new city that does nothing but give your city water or take their sewage or things like that because you can trade between different cities you can use their resources <laughs> i'll trade you poo for coal <laughs> that that's actually a perfectly viable business solution in sim city um, but the problem here is that the game re- kind of requires you to work to have more than one city going at the same time. So it's not like you could just say, hey, I'm going to build my my dream city, and I've got enough space to do that. You are eventually going to run out of space. It's just going to happen. You start losing money. You're going to need to put down more residential, et cetera, et cetera. You're going to need to be shipping your waste off somewhere else. You're going to be bringing water in from somewhere else because some of the resources on the map are uh, are consumable. So you'll you know you'll drill out all the water, and then your people will be like, "We don't have any water," and you're like, "Oh God, again with the water. Fuck yourself." Uh, so you start buying it from your neighbor or whatever, which, you know, I don't know. Maybe you're looking at this from a different perspective uh, and, ha- and doing this is great because you could totally troll people in multiplayer by setting up a shit ton of water and selling it to your neighbors until they're totally dependent on your water and then just turning it all off and making them all move out of that one town. 
<laughs> Peace out, suckers! That's right. Just destroy your town. Just bring, you, then you. That's when you bring in Godzilla. Is when you need to troll people in a multiplayer game. But the thing is that I, I hate this idea that you can't do everything in one plot. That you have to have multiple cities working, or I guess you can keep things going, but it seems like you keep running into these problems where <clears throat> the economy that you've got going starts to become untenable. Like the money that you require to do stuff keeps going up, and you don't have enough of it, and then you're you know trying to juggle with a, a financial deficit. I don't know. Maybe I'm just not a qualified city planner, Jason. I mean, you know. Uh, well, I mean, you had you've played the other Sim Cities, right? Hired. <laughs> That's all it takes. I mean, I, I took two years of civil engineering, but I didn't get my degree or anything. So obviously, I missed that one class in uh, in you know uh, finance, and maybe that's where I'm going wrong. But I don't know. I mean, at a certain point, it just seems like you're doing good, you're doing good, you're doing good, and then at a certain point, it seems like there's a tip over where you're just fighting the downward slope of bitching Sims and more and more money getting spent on shit. You're just like ah. Um, <laughs> Which kind of sucks because I would like how depending on how like this game is so pretty that I would love to be able to get a city going that could just take care of itself. That it was just you know at capacity, nobody was bitching, we're making money, we're not collapsing. But it seems like because the better your city is doing, the more people move in, the more people move in, the more you uh, resources that you need, and suddenly you just need more shit. And so then that brings with other problems like. You know, you could build curved roads in this game, as you saw in the happy hour. Jason, you saw curved roads, right? Those circles yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's dumb. Don't ever fucking do that. Because <laughs> if your city is not one gigantic grid to maximize every square inch of land that you have, you're doing it wrong. And you're going to get fucked eventually when there's nowhere to put your recycling plant because you had to build a nice little curved road over to the suburbs with parks beside it. No. You need the most soulless, <laughs> like, graph paper city. <laughs> ever created that's what maxis is trying to tell us <laughs> it's like <laughs> resistance is futile yeah now i mean i played this game multiplayer with some other people it was pretty cool like the, because of the multiplayer is asynchronous you don't have to deal with people being online and doing stuff at the same time like you can use somebody else's city even when they're not online that's cool if you think the idea of playing multiple cities is nifty like having one city that just deals with all of the you know utility requirements for a big city or one city that's just nothing but gambling and crime that you get all your money from and then you just port that over to other cities. Like, that's cool. The problem is that if you're just looking to build, like, one straight-up city and have that one city run really awesomely, this is not really that game. This is not the way the game was designed, and that is kind of a drag. Because once I got into this game, that's all I wanted to do. And unfortunately, it didn't It didn't work out that way, which... Uh, um, <laughs> <laughs> um so yeah that's pretty much it i mean you know graphics are real nice simulations are real nice they have a bunch of nice little map components that'll let you see where stuff is that you know looks really cool and it's it's definitely a time sink like as the as the game goes on like i've said multiple times you'll just like hours will just melt away um but at the end of the day uh hmm. It's it's weird, man. It's like, have you ever played a game, Jason, where while you're playing the game, you're just totally into it, and then as soon as you get done, you go, "What the fuck was I doing, man? Fuck that! That's stupid." <laughs> but yes, but my lawyer advised me not to talk about it. <laughs> um, I don't know. So I've been wrestling with what to give this, and I think I'm going to give it a high bargain bin. Um, I think that just the design philosophy is kind of flawed. That. They've got a really nice little simulation of the way a city can build going on here, but it would have been really nice if they just had if they just had a sandbox version where they gave you like a quadruple size plot of land and they said the resources never run out. Just build a city. Build whatever cool looking city you want to build instead of having to deal with all of this stuff happening. Like there is a sandbox mode. Um, it turns off some of the stuff, but the problem is that it's just the the plots are too small. That's the main problem with this game is it's just there's too not enough area to do stuff, and that's a total drag. So. I I want I will play it whenever I can recreate the wires Baltimore. <laughs> Well, you know what? My city is is getting uh, is on the downward slope of that arc I was talking about. So, you know, it'll give me like three or four turns, and I'm going to be looking at downtown Detroit. Meanwhile, I'm going to be building uh, uh, what the hell? Uh, 
Alpha Alpha City, Mega City. What was the good city in Robocop? Uh, Delta City. Delta City. There you go. Next door. And uh, your move, Sim City. <laughs>